Alrighty, so here's how we're going to do our scanning using this big old Canon 6500 printer, or whatever it is, just so that the numbers and names sound familiar to you. I want to make sure that your paper is all the way fed in there. Head first if you can, if it's nice and flat. If there's any wrinkles and stuff, you want to feed it from the other end if it's flatter. If you have little pieces, you feel free to tape them onto another sheet of paper so that they don't get caught up in the feeder over here. Just make sure it's in there all the way. You should only have to do this once per computer. Just make sure that you click on File and Twain. Select Source. The one that you want to have selected is this one here, which is WIA Canon W whatever 6500. Just make sure it's the WIA Canon. Don't ask me what it stands for because I don't know. Just make sure that, that one's selected. Saves you time later. Okay, up here under Scan, what type? If you want to use the document feeder, which is what we're showing here, choose the document feeder. Color or grayscale. If it's just black and white text, use grayscale. And the one weird thing is we we'll want to select the page size. Um, you don't have to, but it just makes for a neater result. And scan. It takes a few seconds for it to warm up. Feeds in. Does its deal. It'll take it about 30 seconds for this to process. It's about 30 seconds per page in color, about 20 seconds in grayscale. And then we'll have our result over here in a moment, which I will not show you because yeah, it's too boring to wait for. But it's only about 30 seconds. It will just automatically feed the next sheet just like this. And it won't actually feed that one all the way through until it has updated the screen. This laptop being kind of slow, it takes it a few moments. It's a little faster on other computers. We'll set that up later. But there's our result. And you see it's now feeding in the second page. And off we go. Thanks for playing.